Welcome to English Oral Presentation and Discussion 1. This is a required course for sophomore English majors at Daiye University. I'm Phil Said. I'm a teacher in the Department of English here at Daiye University, and I'll be your instructor for this course. In this video, I'd like to briefly introduce the course. I'll also tell you the aims of the course, the class schedule, and the prerequisites for taking the course. In this course, I won't teach you the basics of how to do a presentation in English, because I teach this in another course, Old English presentation and application software. Instead, we'll be looking in a little more detail at how to use rhetorical techniques in our presentations and discussions. That word rhetorical refers to the ancient art of argument. We may not think of argument as being an art. Unfortunately, argument is often something ugly and bad-tempered, but through this course you will learn how to persuade your listener calmly and skillfully, and how to avoid being manipulated by advertisements, politicians, and the media. We won't follow a textbook in this course. Instead, we will look at real-life examples of rhetoric in action taken from various fields such as politics, advertising, and the media. The course will include many games and exercises to help strengthen your persuasive skills. The aim of the course is to help you identify rhetorical techniques and apply them to your presentations and discussions. Specifically, we will focus on four basic elements of rhetoric. First, defining your goals. The course will show you how to define your goals in a presentation or a discussion and why this is important. Second, argument by character. How to win the trust of your audience. Third, argument by emotion. How to appeal to your audience's emotions without appearing manipulative. And fourth, argument by logic. How to use logic to structure your arguments and spot fallacies in the arguments of others. The course is designed for students with intermediate to high intermediate level English who are willing to work hard to improve their presentation and discussion skills. Thank you for listening to this introduction. I look forward to working with you this semester.